Raw Monday split messages this week as viewers increased 7,000 from last week to 1.72 million. But 18 to 49 was down 8% to 0.47, the latter being the third lowest number in the history of the show. I'm disconnecting his, his deal right here. We'll deal with this after the next break so you guys don't hear anything weird. As compared to the same week last year, Raw was down 37% in viewers, 49% in 18 to 49, and 67% in 18 to 34. Raw started well above last week, and the second hour didn't drop much, but hour three once again had the big drop with a normal 12% first to third hour drop. So the Raw Underground Curiosity did not hold the audience this week, but they did start out with more interest in hour one than they had in a long time. As far as first to third hour drops go, 18% down, women 18 to 49, 2% down, men 18 to 49, which was an improvement over last week. Teenage boys were up 8%, better than usual. So there was something in hour three that appeared, appear, appealed more than usual to boys, men, and women teenagers. That might have been raw underground for all I know. Three hours, 8 p.m., 1.81 million viewers. 9 p.m., 1.75 million viewers. And 10 p.m., the big drop again to 1.60 million viewers. Final episode of Titan Games, 3.54 million viewers. The lowest number of the season and a drop from 3% over last week. Show did the same 0.7 at 18-49 to 49, that it has consistently done all season. Won the night among networks 18-34, to 18-49, to 25-54 to 54 women, etc., etc. 90-day fiancé on TLC beat Titan Games and everything else on television in that 18-49 to 49 demo at a 0.8, which is a pretty gigantic number. So, basically the story with Raw... I, I mentioned in the opening segment that there was nothing too historic about these numbers. And in terms of Raw itself, there was nothing too historic about these numbers. But there was something rather historic, which is that in the 18 to 34 demo, which is not 18 to 49, 18 to 49 is the real money demo. This is 18 to 34 in both men and women. AEW Dynamite beat. Monday Night Raw in the person's 18-34 to 34 demo. So we're not just talking about they beat the last hour or whatever. They beat all three hours of Raw. AEW Dynamite on TNT has more people ages 18-34 to 34 watching AEW than are currently watching Monday Night Raw on Monday night's in prime time, it has been on the air since 1993. They are losing an 18- to 34-year-old viewers, men and women, to AEW. So that's a remarkable fact. And as we talked about on on uh, the last uh, Brian and Vinny show, I mean, 18-49, to 49, the money 18-49 to 49 demo. I mean, all of these demos... Wednesday is becoming wrestling night. And we're going to see what happens tonight. Because last week, AEW and, and NXT, they had they had head-to-head -head competition with the NBA. That everybody expected, man, probably ain't going to be good. NBA's back on Wednesdays. Wrestling's going to get slaughtered. And in fact, both of those shows did their best numbers in forever. AEW topping 900,000. I believe the, the combined viewership of both shows was the highest since February. So Wednesday is wrestling night. And my guess is that that trend is only going to continue from here. Although it's going to be very interesting because next week, of course, there is no AEW on Wednesday. Well, I have to look at the schedule. But there's one week where they're going to follow the, the basketball game. And then they're going to do another show on Thursday. So two shows in a row. But anyway, things are going to get all muddled up over the next couple of weeks because of the NBA. Pretty sure next week is the week that NXT is unopposed. So my guess is they're going to build up a really big show tonight. And next week, with no competition, we're going to see what NXT does alone on Wednesday nights. And then, of course, the question is, how long can they maintain that momentum? So there's going to be a lot of very interesting things to talk about coming up over the next several weeks. 